Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So in a previous video, we learned about the Android Studio file structure. We learned about different kind of file systems available in Android Studio. We learned about the manifest file, the Gradle files, and our original project code base files. In this video, I thought before directly jumping onto the implementation, let's discuss about the Android layouts, which will be the main component of our uh, project files. An Android layout defines the structure for a user interface in your apps, such as in an activity or in a fragment. So basically, layout is the face of your activity or any view group. All views or widgets are defined inside this layout file. Now, the main components which consist of this layout file uh, are view group and views. Main difference between a view and a view group is that a view usually draws something the user can see and interact with for example like a button or an image view sliders or a progress bar so all these widgets collectively are known as views whereas a view group is more of a like an invisible container that defines the layout structure for a view and other view group objects for example whenever you jump into a layout file you have that uh, layout tag in top of the the file right where it's mentioned what kind of layout you are using for example a linear layout or a constraint layout frame layout or even con a coordinator layout so all these uh, principal tags on the top of the file are known as view groups so a layout file consists of uh, views or it can also be uh, consist consist of multiple view groups inside a single layout file so there are three types of primary layout files available in the Android Studio. The very first one is a linear layout. Linear layout is a kind of a layout which aligns each of the child view in either in either a vertical or a horizontal line. For example, if, uh, we set an orientation of a linear layout as vertical, then automatically as as you will uh, adding new layouts and new views inside that layout, it will automatically be aligned in a vertical or a horizontal fashion. Whereas in relative layout, it's more of like a flexible one uh, as compared to the other native layouts. It lets us define the position of each child that uh, whether you want this layout relative uh, to the uh, layout view uh, A or relative to the view B. So this way we can we have this flexibility to design the portion of the space which a single view or a particular view will be consisting inside the layout file. And the third one is a constraint layout why do we require constraint layouts if we already have this uh, flexibility with the relative layout so one thing with the constraint layout is that that it has a flat view hierarchy so unlike other layouts uh, it does provide a better performance and also if specifically as compared to the uh, relative layout and the biggest advantage of constraint layout is that you, you only have a single layout that can handle your UI changes. So in relative layout, in order to have those multi-grid fashion, multi-grid views, you need to have multiple nested views inside a relative layout in order to uh, make that happen. But uh, if we uh, come into the constraint layout, then in that case, you don't have to have these nested views in order to make that happen. You just need to have one constraint layout tag and you can just drag drop the views and uh, by uh, having the constraint set to whatever view you want to you can design a dynamic hybrid kind of a layout without having any nested views so we will be jumping right into the examples of these views uh, after this so to have a better clarity so moving forward i'll be getting into the live implementation of each layout with a short quick example so let's start with our very first implementation, which is the default layout, which we get with the act whenever we create any uh, uh, activity, which is the constraint layout. So Android decided after uh, I guess version 3.5 or 3.6 that default layout should be the constraint layout. Uh, earlier it used to be the relative layout. So for this video, I have uh, created a, a a small layout in Figma, which we'll be designing in Android Studio. So jumping on to our uh, Figma file. So this is a layout which we'll be designing. So I have the assets downloaded locally so, so that this video could be short and crisp and I'll be replicating this layout in Android Studio. So let's get started. 
so very first thing is we will be taking a card view as you see in constraint layout we have to provide these constraints in order to uh, set the position of the view inside the view group uh, other than this it will be just floating out in the air and if you do not uh, set the constraints then android will give you this kind of a warning that this layout is not uh, have missing constraints just simple just drag any of the corner and attach to the view which is present inside the layout file so what this will do card background color uh, we can have a card background color of this or we can make it like more subtle in this way corner radius can be selected as 20 we can also provide a margin of 10 so that it could be easy for us so inside this we will be taking the constraint layout as well inside the constraint layout let's take an image view of 40 dp x 40 dp and put the source as coin uh, so i think i need a dollar yeah dollar let's make it 50 and here also we need to assign the views and here you can set margin start as 10 something like this it's good after that we have these two lines so this can easily be implemented using card view only so we can have this kind of layout using card view so we'll be having lift as 50 dp and height we can set as 10 dp with corner with radius of 15 we can have this as 100 or maybe 200 and this can set to 20 yep cool so just click on this set do this so see how easy it is to set up the views it just like simply near to drag and drop margin start we can give 10 and we need to replicate the views here and the same view we have length as 120 and this view is bottom to this and start to this one yeah. margin top we can have a five margin i think it's we are good and this is also a bit material button so this is how the constraint layout looks now let's create the same exact same thing in linear layout and we'll see how the xml file looks so for that i can quickly go ahead and create another layout file uh, just i can sample linear layout We can go ahead and change uh, this to linear layout it is very important uh, for defining the orientation if you are working with linear layout so orientation uh, first we have to do is uh, okay we can have horizontal uh, and inside this we can have a card view match parent and this could be 200 dp and same we can take the card view from here and yeah so we do not require this so you just need to add the namespace declaration and you see we have 
a nice working card view so in that inside this card view now we have to take another linear layout because now we are working with linear layouts we'll do match parent and we'll do match parent and this time the orientation orientation will set to horizontal and inside this horizontal we'll again refer so this thing these all three elements are in horizontal fashion so first we'll take the image view and we'll paste it inside here we do not require any constraints but we surely need to add gravity center start so see now it's aligned from center and start our next element in line was these two so now in order to align this so this is in a vertical layout so we require to add so these two card views so what we have to do is we have to assign another linear layout inside this so linear layout uh, but this time we can have wrap content and height we can do match parent and inside this layout we need to specify the orientation to vertical and we need to paste this now we first remove the constraints yeah so now this layout uh, see uh, we have some margins we need to remove the margins so now everything is good the only thing is that the gravity so we can have gravity center start cool done now we can have margin start as 10 so it will automatically shift now our last element in line is the button so what we do we'll just copy this and try to paste it and we are done so the only difference between uh, linear layout and constraint layout is like in constraint layout uh, it's more like a free flow in such a complex layout uh, we require something like constraint layout in which we do not require to add multiple view groups inside uh, this parent group uh, uh, instead we can have this kind of free flow where we can attach the constraints to different different view groups and it can automatically adjust according to the screen resolution so that's why linear layout is helpful when you are dealing with complex layouts uh, and le uh, sorry constraint layout is helpful when you are dealing with complex layouts and linear layout is helpful when you are designing uh, like items for recycler views which just have uh, like uh, uh, easy recordable elements and easy uh, align alignment of elements so in that case you we can use linear layout and that's all for the video so in next video we'll be learning about view binding and how we can use view binding to attach the views from the layout files directly in your uh, activity or fragment so till then peace out